DC's movie and TV universe was on the verge of a breakout year at the start of 2022, but ever since, it's been setback after setback. And while some of that was very much out of DC's control, that was not the case all across the board. That includes the most recent shockwave from Warner Brothers' discovery that Leslie Grace's Batgirl movie is indefinitely shelved and will not see any sort of release. That kind of begs the question, what on earth happened with DC's Batgirl movie and why is it such a bad look? Well, let's answer that, shall we? Warner Brothers is now part of Discovery. With that acquisition, there have been some changes of focus and strategy. Before Discovery's David Zaslav was at the wheel, WB and DC were focusing on a one-two punch of theatrical and streaming. And that explains why DC had originally pitched Batgirl and Blue Beetle as HBO Max only releases. That has now shifted as by all accounts Zaslav and Warner Brothers Discovery now wants to prioritize theatrical and find ways to bring down its $3 billion in debt across all of its divisions. Blue Beetle was previously changed from a streaming only release to a theatrical one as well, so some assume Batgirl would also receive a theatrical upgrade. Unfortunately, Warner Brothers Discovery has now revealed that despite being completely done and in post-production, that film was canceled. It is also unlikely we'll see it moved anywhere else or given a different style of release, as according to reports, a purchase accounting maneuver allows Warner Brothers Discovery to not carry the loss on its books, but needs to be used by mid-August, and that explains why it's canceling Batgirl now. Warner Brothers Discovery did release a statement on the matter, saying that the decision to cancel Batgirl did not reflect on Leslie Grace, her performance, or the work Adil and Bilal did, and Warner Brothers Discovery hopes to collaborate with them in the future. Well, here's the problem with that. That might be true, but you just wrote off a $90 million movie that was already done, featuring one of your most popular Bat characters with a woman person of color in the starring role. Meanwhile, you have a movie that has a white lead that is literally swimming in controversy and allegations, and that movie is still being tracked to theaters. Sure, it fits within your theater-centric strategy, but overall it's incredibly problematic and shows what you are willing to overlook just because it fits within your grand business vision. Plus, Batgirl was all but finished and would have bolstered your still-growing streaming service. So unless Zaslav and company are going to just write off all of the progress they've made with their streaming platform in HBO Max to Netflix or whoever else wants to come into that territory, that is going to still need content. If Batgirl were in the planning stages, I totally get the pivot. And speaking of that sort of pivot, things don't look great for that Green Lantern HBO Max series either. But here it just seems like a tone-deaf move for short-term gain. Meanwhile, Flash, which has cost far more and will cost an even grander sum once marketing is factored in, is still on track to release. And that's not even taking into account any reshoots or recastings that could raise the budget. Also, how you're gonna market that thing is just beyond me. Even from a character-specific viewpoint, Batgirl is one of the most popular characters in DC's catalog, and opens up DC's rather narrow movie universe to a whole new demographic. While Flash just caters to those who are already in the building. Look, it's not my money. I will not be on a soapbox telling people how to spend theirs. I get it. That said, I'm just calling it like I see it. As of right now, it's an incredibly bad look for Batgirl to get thrown to the side while another project that should have been shelved a while ago continues to get more and more chances. Batgirl, Leslie Grace, Adil and Bilal, and the entire team behind the film deserve far better. So. What do you think about the shelving of the background movie? Let us know in the comments, or as always, you can talk all things DC and comics with me on Twitter at Matt Aguilar CB. You can also catch all of our content right here on Comic Book Nation. Peace. Mm -hmm.